Hello everyone. It's James again. And today. I wanted to do a video regarding children that grow up to be narcissists. To at least one parent that isn't a narcissist. As this has been a question that has been asked more than a handful of times. And I want to say sorry for not getting to this topic sooner. Because it's a very important topic to discuss. And there is a real specific reason for this. But before I go into this topic more. I want to say thank you to all of you that brought this topic up and wanted me to talk about it. I do appreciate you and your comments. And your questions. I also want to tell all of you that have subscribed to my channel. Long time subscribers and new subscribers alike. I do appreciate you. And to those that are supporting by the way of Patreon. I humbly say thank you. I really do mean it. And your support is really helping out. Now regarding the topic at hand. What happens when your very children grow up to become narcissists? Well first. We need to examine how this happens. Now if your child grew up in a normal healthy home. You and the other parent provided a good upbringing to your child. There were no outside abuses that you know of that has happened to your child. And your child is showing patterns and behaviors of that of a narcissist. Lack of empathy. Very manipulative. One minute they act like they love you and the next they say some really evil things to you. You may also feel just like a utility for them to use and dispose of. If they grew up in a happy home. And you are pretty darn sure they didn't suffer any outside abuses. Or the other parent didn't abuse them as well. Then it's probably a good chance they aren't a narcissist. Because though we use the term narcissist and psychopath interchangeably. I do it a lot myself. As they are very similar in behavior. The truth is there are differences. You see though there is a big debate about are narcissists born or made. And I'm one to say they can be both. As an example. For some reason. No matter what abuses I went through. And any negative behavior I showed as a result. Because yes. Narcissistic abuse scapegoats can and do learn toxic traits we have to fix and overcome. But despite all that. I knew what was happening in my home was wrong. And no matter what. I wore my heart on my sleeve so to speak. And I couldn't turn off my empathy. So in that. I believe I was born with the traits and brain wiring with someone that would be highly empathic. That coupled with being abused turned me into a codependent. So I was born and made. Now if I would have been born into a loving home. I might have been encouraged to go into a field where I could use my empathic nature to be of assistance. To society or others while having boundaries in place. Instead of walking around being a human doormat. Now. I'm trying to right those wrongs and live the life I should have lived. But as you can see. Nature and nurture both play a huge part. Now with my golden child brother. He seemed very low in the way of having empathy and seemed from day one concerned with himself. And I believe it's possible. I stress the words possible. Those things that light up in the empath's brain that makes us what we are. In my brother. I don't think he ever had that. However. I do think. Had he not been abused. He could have grown up to be a reasonably healthy person. But that didn't happen. He was narcissistically abused. And as a defense mechanism. He retreated into narcissism. And as we know. If this goes unchecked for too long. This defense or protective mechanism. Can turn into a personality disorder that is really unchangeable. And I say that because everyone that has tried to help a narcissist has failed and destroyed their own life in the process. So if your child grew up in a loving home. With no abuse at all. Though his or her behavior is like a narcissist. They might have a genetic problem that has literally turned off empathy in their mind completely at birth. And at a very young age they figured out what exact evil they were and are. And they happily embraced it. And just like the narcissists. They see others are food so to speak and weak for feeling empathy. If this is the case. 
You can't blame yourself. Nor should you. But realize dealing with such an entity. Because they don't act like people. But dealing with such an entity will be and is dangerous for you. It can cost you your very life. As these types might feel nothing to end your life just to get the house. Or other things of value you might own. Now if they are truly a narcissist. You must fear these same entities the same way. Well. Instead of fear. Understand what you are up against. And understand if you deal with them even if they are your son or daughter. You might end up losing your life. Either through stress. Or them ending your life directly. Now if they are a true narcissist. How did they end up this way? Let's say. You were with a narcissist husband or wife. And the child has spent any time with this parent at all. You have to understand. Just like this narcissist planted seeds of doubt in all the people you knew. Just like how they turned your best friends against you. Heck. They are now doing this tactic with your children. You see. The narcissist parent looks for the child that is more empathetic and which one is the one that has low empathy. And they play these children against each other. That is if you have more than one child. You see. Narcissists are the modern and the ancient vampire. They are always trying to turn others into the demon that they are. Even their own children. They see their own children as blank slates they can corrupt and ruin. Much like they were ruined as a child. That being said. They are working night and day. Day and night to find something. Anything that can make you. The good parent look evil in your own child's eyes. And the narcissist parent will look like the hero. And at some point they will find this moment. Please know this. It's almost impossible to avoid. This is why. If you have a child in such a situation. Doing everything you can to get this child help is important. And hoping things legally work out in your favor where you will have more time with this child than the narcissist parent does. I remember my mother projecting regarding my father. By saying. Your father said he will do whatever he can to turn you and your brother against me just because he wants to see me hurt. When in reality. This is what my mother was doing to my father. It's truly insane. This is also why I believe in speaking up about narcissism in conjunction with family court reform. Because it's my belief. The more child rearing is truly made to be fair. Not like a lottery ticket. The more you will see the narcissists bail out of their children's lives. Thus leaving them with the supportive parent. Because narcissists hate hard work. At least most of them anyway. However. They still crave to screw up children's lives. Specifically their children's lives. So information about narcissistic abuse needs to make it to the family court and I will work my little cartoon butt off until that happens and then some. Because I grew up in it and I know the literal hell that it was. And that it currently is. But sadly yes. Narcissism in your child can come about from the influence the narcissistic parent has on your child. Knowing the other parent is a narcissist or something similar might help you formulate a plan. So at least you can make sure you are getting help for your child before the damage is even started. That and a lot of praying. Being open and honest. But not attacking the other parent. But standing up for yourself when it's needed. Now the other reason why your child may have become a narcissist is truly sad and it's in my opinion the most common reason why. Someone's child becomes a narcissist. And that is your narcissist parent or parents turn them into one. It's truly sad. I know. But here's what happens. We might still live in the same city or state as our narcissist parent or parents. We have a child. And somewhere in our low contact with our narcissist parent or parents this is mentioned. And they started acting nice for a long period of time. Long enough for us to forget they are a narcissist. And before you know it we start to bring our children around them. To the point we start leaving them alone with them. And eventually they start going over to see grandma and or grandpa on their own when they are old enough. And before you know it. 
they are slowly planting seeds of doubt about us in the minds of our children. Checking to see are they empathetic or are they low in that regards? Are they easily swayed by money and or gifts? Plus, if you talked bad about your childhood to your child, and then they see how grandma and or grandpa seems to be the next best thing since sliced bread. You look like the jerk. You see. Narcissists never change. Their goal is to make you look evil and they the saint. And they will use money and gifts if they need to do so. Now if your child is highly empathetic, it's possible they will get themselves out of this trap and will eventually figure out grandma and or grandpa was and is full of it. But the ones that are kind of low in the empathy department. They are easily taken over and rarely are able to come back from the dark side. And they sadly become full on narcissists fairly fast. Now if your child isn't the lying and money stealing type. Or just wasn't liking you based on some lies. And they have come around to the light. Go get help. So you can talk through these things with your child. However. If your child has gotten to the point of becoming a skilled manipulator and liar. I have bad news for you. They are gone. And the more you deal with them. The more they will pull you down into an early grave. Now if you deal with them at all. You have to have clear boundaries. And part of those boundaries are. You don't tell them anything that is important to you. Keep all personal and financial information to yourself. Never lend them money. And move if you feel that will be best and you don't mind relocating. Much like if you grew up in a home full of narcissists. Sometimes relocating all while you are going through fixing your life might be a big help. Remember you can't run from your problems. But once you are in the process of fixing your life. You might find it nice to live somewhere else. But please keep in mind. I've heard of these narcissists children following their parents. Remember they are young and have a lot of energy to hurt your life. Don't let them. I only have very limited contact with my narcissist mother because she really is in no position to harm me. However. I have no contact with my narcissist brother whatsoever. What I'm trying to say is. If you look back and you can see how they were created. And you can see their behaviors is now of that of a stone cold manipulator. And they have no empathy for those they take from or for those they hurt. Though they act nice and kind at the start of their manipulation. You just can't help them. I know it hurts. But you can't. And by trying to help this child of yours. You will just put yourself in an early grave all the while giving them narcissistic supply. It's sad. This curse is both genetic and environmental as I stated before. And your son or daughter is infected with narcissistic personality disorder. And I do believe this is why the Bible tells us. That even our own family will be our own enemies. And it's bad enough if it's a brother or sister. Or mother or father. But your children. That's a tough pill to swallow. On one hand you have contact and you share some fun yet fake times. Because trust me they are nothing but fake. Then at the end they end up hurting you and harming your life. And even worse. Stressing you out into an early grave. Or they try to kill you for your house and money. Or you go no or limited contact. Very limited contact with very very super strict boundaries. And if your boundaries are strict. And they can't get anything out of you. They will probably go no contact with you. And you won't see them for a few years. They will show back up again. Trying to get into your good graces. Or they might bring around their new child. Always keep in your mind what and who they are. No matter what happy situation they seem to be a part of or they want to involve you with. They are a snake. And they will lie. Manipulate and bite you every single time without fail. We are truly in some tough times. And I'm praying for each and every one of you. Well that's all I have for now. But I would love to hear your comments. Have you dealt with this before? How are you handling this very difficult situation? With that said. Let's continue to pray for wisdom. Let's continue to pray for strength. 
and let's continue to pray for courage. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.